Section 11.1 .1, A Molecular Comparison of Gases, Liquids, and Solids So the physical properties of substances are understood in terms of the kinetic molecular theory, the bumping around of the different molecules. So gases are highly compressible and they assume the shape and volume of their container. So they're, um, the molecules are very far apart and they don't interact with each other at all, very, very little. Liquids are almost incompressible, so they're much closer together. And they assume the shape, but not the volume of the container. So uh, they don't go as far as the volume is, but they will, like, you pour something into a glass, it'll assume the, the shape of the glass. So the molecules in a liquid are held closer together than gas, but they're not so rigid that the molecules can't slide past each other. So the kinetic energy is high enough that they um, are not in a matrix. They're able to, to slosh. Solids are incompressible also, and they have a definite shape and volume, and they're packed very close together and so rigidly packed that they can't easily slide past each other. Solids or liquids are called condensed phases because they're, they're closer together. Uh, they're packed closer together than a gas. So if a solid with a high, highly ordered structure is said to be crystalline. And usually crystals are going to be ionic. A lot of ionic uh, compounds are crystals. So like sodium chloride would be a, a cube, but other salts would take different uh, crystals and you can see that with uh, the different gemstones and everything they have different crystal structures. Converting a gas into a liquid or a solid requires that the molecules get really close together and you can accomplish this by cooling a gas or compressing a gas. So the pressure can change a state or the temperature can change a state and that might not uh, come be obvious to you that you can cool something and change it say from a solid uh, or a liquid to a solid, you can cool it, but you can also change pressure and do things like this as well, and we'll, we'll play with it. Converting a solid into a liquid requires the molecules to move farther apart, and you can do that either by reducing the pressure or by heating it up. And the, the forces that hold the liquids and solids together are called intermolecular forces, and um, it's the intermolecular forces that we're studying in this chapter. So the physical properties of these liquids and solids are due to their intermolecular forces. So the boiling point or the melting point or a lot of these uh, physical properties that we'll see, a lot of them are due to whether or not you have forces that pulling in on these various ones.